gentlemen, and as always, thank you for watching. Today we've been called by the Missouri State Highway Patrol. We have a loaded tractor trailer unit in the median tangled in the barrier cables. Uh, they've asked us to expedite, so we'll get up there as quickly as possible. As always, we ask for prayers, good thoughts, well wishes for all involved. Uh, anyway, we've got to go. We'll see what happens when we get there. loaded tractor trailer in the cables Are you okay? Okay. What kind of damage are we looking at here, Kenny? We've got oil everywhere. Overall. I don't know, but it's we got one, a heck of a lot of tension in here. Yeah, this one is. They're both they're both tensioned really hard. Yeah, uh, this one ain't in the truck. I'm gonna have, I know, but we gotta get it on the other side of it. I know. Uh, I'm gonna have uh, our traffic control release the tension down there and then we'll cut this one at the buckle. There's a turnbuckle right back here. Uh, that'll be the first thing we do when we get Gavin here. Is it out backwards? Don't know yet. Take a look at it here and see. Okay, when you see me, slow down. All right, all right, pay, pay close attention here. There is a crossover. Okay, there's a crossover just behind me and I will need you to take the underreach or the pickup truck with the bumper hitch and release the turnbuck or release the tensioners on the cable system. I'll meet you up there. It either needs to be the pickup or the wheel lift on that uh, truck, whichever. It does not matter, but we got to release the tension on those cables. North. I'm going to walk up. Yeah, turn the siren off. Okay. You'll see the crossover up there. Uh, it'll probably be easier for Gavin to, if you can help him get that uh, pickup into position, then it will be that number 10 truck. I'm gonna 
walk up here and meet you up there, okay? You'll see it, it's right up here. Gavin doesn't have a uh, uh, shoot bumper hitch in that truck, but that's gonna be the easiest way to drop the tension on those cables. That's oh, all right, just get in that turnaround right now. I'll meet you up there. I'm gonna show these boys how to knock the tensioner down because this thing has got a lot of tension on it. I'm afraid it's gonna whip out into traffic if we don't drop the tension off of it. Yes, do not jump out in traffic, yeah. There is a uh, hole right there with three cables attached to the base of it at an angle. We, gotta, we have to knock that pole over. Normally you just back a bumper hitch up to it. There's a yellow dot on it. Okay, as high as we can get, you usually use a pickup or the wheel lift on the the underreach on the back of the truck and back up against it and knock it down. Push it towards us. That's why I said to wait because we either need traffic control or uh, something up there. Yeah, I'm walking, but it, uh, that's a long, long way up here. All right. Goodness, it's a ways up here. You're clear? Okay. All right, Ethan, turn to the right just a little bit. Straight ahead. Straight ahead now. Straighten the wheel. Whoa, straighten the wheel. All right, now easy forward, and that should, that'll knock that cam lever over. That's how you do it, right there. All right, Gavin, I'm gonna ride with you because I really don't want to walk down there. Or right, here, let me drive because I know where I want to put it. Hi, mate. Yo, everybody all right? Yeah, that's why you don't want anybody near those. Yeah, because one could take your head off. That's typically why you want to do the bumper hitch on it too instead of yeah. doing the front. But all right, let's roll down to the scene. You long-legged guys. <laughs> I put it in four low, or four high, by the way. Feels like I'm back in the Ranger. I hit my head every single time. <laughs> Way nobody sneaks in on us, we'll get kind of halfway in between them. Now 
you see how I've got it pointed? Mm -hmm. All right, can you get safely get out? Wait Fine. until you can safely get out. dropping the tensioner cable that way you don't cut anything hopefully I'm gonna go check but we shouldn't have to cut are we clear now Gavin, yep. just start wiggling these and pull them up. Yeah. Not that one up there, but From here to these, these should come straight up. You may take a little bit of oomph, and we may have to use the wrecker to get them if they won't come out. The other side still got quite a bit of tension on it. We may have to pull it backwards, but right now we got the brakes locked. We're gonna have to cage the brakes, and I'm probably gonna have to use the wrecker to pull these posts out Where do you want them? up uh, by the ones that are still standing not in the roadway just on the shoulder where's the uh, batteries in the passenger seat if I need to come up and start taking them out I'll start yanking them out Yeah, let's go ahead and get everything caged. Oh, you want the truck caged, Yeah, let's just everything cage everything. Some bolts and somebody yep. Can give the help. We'll yep, we got it. We got plenty of people here to help, so that's good. All right, where'd you say they were? What? Batteries. In the seat, passenger seat. All right, I'll get you some extra bolts. You have your. We're gonna cage all the spring brakes because oh, it, it ripped the air lines out. If I have to use a record to pull it out, we'll pull it out. Just let me know here pretty quick so I know where to set up. All right, check these two and that should be enough. I'm gonna have to pull it backwards some first. Oh, Gavin got it.
to get some cones. They told me he had 48. Well, he just told me 46. He had to pay for it. Okay. At least up in front of that truck so we got room to get in front of him. When we get now when we get the brakes caged i'm going to spin the boom around and grab the trailer and we'll bring it back enough to clear that cable because we dropped the tension in that cable but that one's still tied to the rest of the line it's not tight though it's got a little bit of slack in but it. i still want to bring it back far enough to where we don't have to yeah. fight it then we can just pull it straight on up what, this one take? yeah that's good for now yeah all right, Ethan, grab my frame chain, one frame chain, and uh, do a frame grab on the back of the trailer. Okay. Uh, yep. Get the cones out of this truck and set them up too. Here, you watch his back. He asked you to watch his back. I shouldn't ask you to do something else. Hey, mate. <laughs> Someone wanted this to happen. <laughs> All right, watch feet. Yep. You got a single line or two line? I'll probably two line this one because he's got a uh, full load on. Two separate? No, no, no. no. Two one part. line, but two parts. Two parts. Does not matter to me. Preferably the other side, but if you've got it hooked there, it's good that, enough. That's kind of it's good thought. enough. Right. Does not way. matter. Either line does not matter. 
Help him drag a line. You want me to switch it real quick? Nope. It'll be all right. All right, let's let Kenny get the brakes caged. He's working on them up here. So I want it back to about where Kenny's laying. Do what? How about I put the uh, cable line on it? Make sure that here, guys. Yep. The uh, snatch or the line's twisted. We need to turn the snatch block. That's all right, Gavin. For what we're doing, we're good. All right, Kenny. I got a line on the back of it. It's sunk down in the mud. You're not going anywhere. Hey, Gavin, grab those really good wheel chocks. Run, go, run, run, run. There ain't no food over there. Go grab my tool kit, Ethan. Please run. Ethan set the guardian angel up on the cone, which is an excellent idea. Just put them on the trailer for right now. It quick and easy to grab.
Gavin. Combs. Ethan, Combs. Well, if Kenny's got an extra bolt, I've got some in my truck too. Combs. Kenny. Combs. How many more we got here? Got these two to release? Yeah, you need one more bolt. You need one more bolt? Yeah, Alright, well he said he couldn't get that one loose. You need uh, well, is, what size is the thing I'll get it off the table? I'll get one. I'll get one out of the truck. Yep. I'll grab one out of the truck. And we will almost be ready. Uh, Kenny, can you determine what size uh, you bolt or uh, you joint shaft ah, you joint bolts it needs so that we can comes com comes comes mic check All right, there's bolt. Let now before we move this thing, let's get that drive shaft up out of here. That way, once we start moving, we can hook to it and get it out of here. Is it automatic? I don't know. Doesn't matter. We gotta have the shaft out of it. Yep, it's an automatic. No, we gotta remove the drive shaft right there. Let's do it. Here, that's what that angle's for. That's what that angle adapter's for. It's a right hand angle, but you lose a lot of uh, torque. But it's got through the gear. Yeah. Here, turn it the other way around. That's what I was doing. Oh, baby. You need a ratchet strap? Yeah, go grab a couple of ratchet straps, please, for the drive shaft. Then you put that in, you can drop it straight in. No, you're, that's fine. That's fine. Now, spin, uh, turn it the other way, though. The. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, yeah, yeah, I completely had a brain fart. I forgot impact. What do you need, Kenny? Under there. Oh, is it into the drive shaft? No, he's getting the uh, brake, chamber? uh, brake chamber's caged right at the moment. Uh, still kind of from this angle. It's just the uh, end the uh, All right. Yeah, go ahead and get the left if you can. And then uh, Kenny will get under there and probably pull the uh, staff. And cage the brake at the same time. Yeah, bring the ratchet straps over here. Now Kenny's got to drop it loose first. All right, Kenny, you ready? Uh, I think we're gonna have to, uh, the, 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 we may have to just manually wrench it. Yeah, because the. Do you need a shallow or? The needs too long? No, get her, get my ratchet. My because yeah, the just the ratchet's going back. Get my hat, my long half inch drive ratchet. Because yeah, the diff has is in the light. Yep. Yeah, it, correct. It is in driver number three. All right, I'm going to go tell the officer what we're doing. That way they don't think we're just stalling up here. My ratchet? Okay, so what are we doing to make it work? Okay, we may have to go to just a regular wrench, even though that's not ideal, but. All right, I told Troop what was going on. I, 
told the troop what our plan was. Oh, they're, they're fine. They're just glad we didn't have to cut the cables. That was their big thing. They didn't want us to have to cut the cables, and if we did, they wanted to cut at the turnbuckle. That's why I said since we've got a, a tension release right there close, we'll just release the tension there. Correct. Yeah, they, they repair the one that this truck broke. Oh, it did break a cable? It did fray one cable down that way. All right, what well, we got left under there, guys? Okay. Drive shaft is not ready yet. Yeah, we've got we've got wheel chocks on the back, and I've got a line on it too. Yeah, so once we start moving, we've got the wheel chocks in. It's probably be all right having that a little bit. Of wheel yeah, yeah, we we need it. We need to have a little bit of resistance. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Hold on, Kenny's having trouble getting it. There, Michael. Yo. Hand him that long handle ratchet right there. And now we could have used it. Yeah. Here. Stand on stand on it. Boy, that thing is in there. Not easily. There you go. Get it, Ethan. Good. All right. Once once you get them broke loose, the the impact should run them. Here, here. Can he try it on my? Try with my impact and see if it's. Ethan, oh. go for it again. You want to try my impact, Kenny? I got the other side out. Okay. Okay. All right, so you're good for the most part. Is this my socket or his? Okay. I think I am. All right, here's ratchet straps, Kenny. One quarter. Yep. The wobble is his, though. Okay. That should be Kenny. All right, would you care to go put that back up? Yeah. Would you care to go put that back up, please? And then we are almost ready to start pulling. Hey Michael, yeah. uh, let's have the driver hop out and would you escort him back to the traffic control? Yeah, sure. Yeah, you can either put him in the, uh, put him in here. The traffic control's further back, put him in the little Pete. Put him in the little Pete, that way he's in a safer zone. The traffic control is further back.
Yes. What, Mike? Okay. He yeah, having uh, mobility issues. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Does he does he need uh, does he need medical? He said it was okay. I've got a hammer. Does he need medical? Okay. I know Kenny said he checked with him too, but he doesn't look like he's maneuvering very well. I'm coming back to you. But he's gonna ride back with us. So, yeah, he's gonna ride back with us anyway. Here, Kenny. I've got this too if you need it. Yes. Did you get her knocked loose? Partially. Yeah, I've got this nice, really nice. Oh yeah, yeah she's she, <laughs> no. There you go. There you go. Well, let's see. Help him get her hung up there, damn it. safest method all right we good guys Hey, give uh, give the Western Star room to get out. Looks like we're going to have a little resistance with this cable through the wheel well. No, I said through the wheel well because it goes over the top of the wheel through the hood. Oh, sweep the glass out of the seat. Yeah, what you want me doing? You want me to steer or what? Should I try to pop the parking brake or is it okay since they're caged? 
Okay. I have no power steering or ability to steer at the moment. I'm working on it. Hold it back, hold it back. Good steers. Yeah, it's just holding there for two mate. Yeah, it's coming out. I'm, I'm pulling on the field. I'm pulling it's hot on this hood. Yeah, but if you keep pulling on how much more pull have you got? I've got quite a bit. Yeah, keep going because it was coming out of here. Alright. Going backwards? Yeah. Do you want me to keep straight or turn left more? Alright. We just gotta get this uh, clear here. Uh, yep. keeps rolling a little bit it'll be a lot easier so <clears throat> all right that's as far left as I can go uh, that's rude <sighs> okay You sure that's sweet tea? Yeah. Well, I'll say I think it's a little bit sour and it's out of date. Thing, just at least like video call when we're on uh, on a job. You know, we'll set you up on a tablet with a tripod, and you could just be there as like a commentator.
to adjust the cones up there, Dad? Peterbilt one, isn't it? or master link size you want just about medium go hard every day. <sighs> yeah, you see what I've been struggling with? Oh, yeah. It ain't easy. Yeah, I'm trying to put my body weight into it. But I'm not trying to fall back into this unsweet tea. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't want to turn anymore from there. Nope. We ain't moving. Yep. It's in a bind. Right. It's way behind and it's willing to make a deal. Yeah. That's a low rider. Ready as I'll ever be, I guess. I think we might need the bigger rope. There it goes. Go ahead. I got some positive 
See if we can just move these cones over because with people getting over like this he can just come straight through because we, we want to try to avoid shutting down as much, much as possible Michael. 
other driver's side. <laughs> Third box. There you go. It's the uh, black Macco case hanging over the ratchet strap. All gone. Back on this side, rolling. Yeah. I, I just did. There. Yeah, you're good enough now. to a hotel here shortly we'll need to get a, a signature uh, on a work order i don't know if you have a work order in here may just may just have you follow back to the shop for now because you need to escort this truck anyway just just go all the way back to the all right ladies and gentlemen there were no injuries the driver wasn't hurt uh none of our guys were hurt we had traffic control special thanks to uh two state troopers Missouri State Highway Patrol stayed and helped watch traffic with us as well uh, we're all headed back to the shop and we will get in contact with the customer and see what they want to do from there we are going to take the driver to a motel uh, he said he doesn't need medical treatment so that's always the best equipment can be replaced it's all good as always thank you for watching God bless <laughs>